Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Dirt 3. Today is episode number 7. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Right, we're now on to the Pro Invitational. Those sunglasses are very snazzy. But we are going to be doing a rally, then a rally cross, then a Gymkhana, and then back to another rally. Uh, let's go and do it. Uh, this one has three stages for this. Oh, hang on. These aren't rally cars. These are raid vehicles. We're looking at a Mitsubishi Racing Lancer. Okay. That is interesting. So, rally with raid? Alright, fair enough. I ain't complaining. Mixes it Ooh, up a little a bit. Single dent in the car last. Mixes up the game just that slight bit and makes it more interesting. Look at that, though. I love the look of the Racing Lancer. It's been in all three Dirt games from Dirt 1 to 3. Alright, go, go, go. Ah, oh, this is lovely. It's such a nice car. Big. It's got like... Do you know when you look at a car and you're like, that looks powerful? Like, you see cars like an Audi R8, you're like, oh, that looks like it's got a bit of power, but not much. This, this looks like it could... It's got plenty of power. Right, slowing down. Oh, don't want to go too wide here. Not over the grid. Right, slow in. Get around that corner. Nice. Onto the brakes. Tap of the handbrake. Oh, airtime. Nice. Keep it going, keep it smooth and steady. Where's the finish? Here's the finish. And across the line. I will take that first place. I also need to make sure my controller stays plugged in because it is uh, broken at the moment. As I explained in one of the previous episodes. I'm hoping for the Series X that it is going to have an integrated battery like the Elite 2 controller. But if they don't do that, I mean, it has been a while and Xbox really does need to catch up with that. Right, let's go. Second race. Oh, look at that. That's a Hummer. Hummers are nice. But we are in a racing Lancer. And go. There we go, perfect. Oh. Very nice. Reaching speed of 90 miles an hour. That is that challenge completed. That's two of them done so far. We've got one more to do in the next race. In the next stage. Alright, onto tarmac. Oh, drifting on tarmac is not a good idea. Nice, nicely done. Coming up behind the Hummer now. Come on, squeeze past. Perfect. Onto the dirt. Right four, 
right. Nice. Finish line is just up ahead. Come on! Pick up the speed. To finish. And across the line. 151.338. Very nice time there. Right, time to continue on to the final stage of Kenya. Right, let's go on to the final race. Oh. The lights on the front look so tiny for this car. Just look at that. It's like nothing. Night time in Kenya though. Splash. Oh, keep it going, keep it going. Very nice. Nice. 60, jump flat. 60, right five. There we Air go, perfect. 60, left six, tightens to four, late into. Right around the corner, right. slowing down, nice. Into left six. 60. Keep Very left slow right. at that corner. Right six into. The one thing about the handling mechanics in this game is hairpin turns cars don't like to take. Like, the cars refuse to take hairpin turns. And that, I think, is a problem that needs to be addressed in Dirt 5 if they copy the um, arcade style. Because obviously... Um, and you'll definitely be getting an invite to the Summer X Games. Hey, We've already got the invites to Summer X Games. Um, but yeah, obviously Dirt 4 has the more realistic arcade mode, and then you've got the um, super realism mode. But if they're doing that same sort of style, the either hyper realistic like Dirt Rally, and then an arcade mode like Dirt 2 and Dirt 3, they need to fix it before they do that. But that is 50 points for the Kenya Rally. We are now on to Rallycross, which is two eight-lap events. And we're going to be taking the MG Metro by the looks of it. Right, let's go. First race, eight laps in an MG Metro. This was obviously very overpowered, this car, in the last game. As we found out, it was the most powerful rallycross vehicle out of them all. And so far, it's fairly decent in this one. Though, I do see that the Mitsubishi and that are much stronger in this game than they were in the last. I think everything's more leveled out. Oh, what are you doing? Right, on to a lap number two. Let's go. It's a very good personal best there, but that wasn't a very good corner. Squeezing through. Yeah, we need to slow down at that section there. We've just lost half of our car already. Nice. Keeping the speed up. Right, onto the brakes. Oh! Nice. Everyone is very close together. We 
are trying to catch up with that Mitsubishi up ahead. Hopefully we can overtake him in the next lap. Oh, right there. Oh. We well, might catch back up, though. Nicely taking that corner there. Right, slowing down for here. Let's go. Right, slowing back down, going around the corners. Oh. This is interesting though, because Monte Carlo, even though it's rally cross, there isn't a single stretch of dirt. Which rally cross normally is a mix of tarmac and dirt. Oh, we hit the curb there. So to see that there's no dirt section whatsoever on this track is a little bit out of place. And also the fact that the game is called Dirt 3, it doesn't quite add up. Oh, very nice. Right, we are three quarters into the race now. Onto the final two laps. Up we go. Nice. Alright, slow. Squeezing through there. The hairpins are designed that way to trick us out. Right, final lap. Let's do this. Let's finish this off. We're looking for a personal best on the final lap. If we can get that, that's all that matters. I don't think we're getting personal best. No, we didn't quite get it. 428.977 though. Right, continue on to the second race now. The problem of being British is you always drink your tea while it's still hot. It's just a mandatory thing. You would think us Brits would learn by now that, oh, the tea is still hot. Don't drink it. And we still drink it. Right, let's go. Speed is key. Right, slowing down for the first corner here. Behind a RS200 there. Got right past there. Ford Focus RS there. How have we spun that out? We may have hit the curb. We're back to square one. See if we can get past that Ford Focus again then. Mr. Focus, I'm coming for you. Oh, not great. So going downhill is really likely for you to slide at those corners. Right, slow down. Hairpin turn. Right. We've got another Ford Focus up ahead of us with another RS200. We'll see if we can overtake it on the first corner in the third lap. And by the looks of it... Ooh, yes, we can. Perfect. That, those fireworks were perfectly timed there. Right, slowing down here. There we go, nice. Third lap completed, and by the looks of it, that is a world record. What? A world record? I can't be the best in the world at this track. No, that can't be.
That must be a fake world record. That could be a proper world record. By the looks of it though, how far ahead are we? Oh, we didn't get a time. We are far enough ahead to not get a time at the moment, which is perfect. Red Mango. It's an interesting name for a company to sponsor a vehicle. Oh. That wasn't great. Went straight into the tire wall there. Right, here we go, round the corner. Perfect. Oh, yes, nice. Perfect. Nicely done. Oh, nearly got it right on the inside there. Obviously, these rallycross tracks are more realistic towards what real life is. But I prefer the old rallycross tracks. They were just cool. But there we go. Across the line. Eight laps completed. 348.272. Don't forget, you can upload that race footage to YouTube if you think it's good enough. Have you All right. Been training at Battersea? It sure looks like it. Keep it up. We haven't been training at Battersea at all. Let's see what we've got. 1,000, 1,500, and 500. So we've got 3,000 rep in total. We've got a new team. Hella Racing. That's actually pretty good. I quite like Hella Racing. Right. On to Jim Carner next. so impressive that you're wanted in another challenge. This would be great PR. You feeling up to it? Oh, speed run. That's new. Right, let's go to the Monaco Gym Gymkhana. We've got two rounds each at 1 minute 30 each. And we're going to be taking Hella Racing again. Right, on to race one of the Monaco Gym Gymkhana. Oh, look at that. Oh, look. He's got a little wing. A big wing as well. Don't even know what I was on about a little wing. That's a big wing. Right. Let's go around here. Donut completed. Airtime. Let's go do that. Smash. Smash some blocks. Why not? Donut in again. Perfect. Right, let's get some airtime. Oh, I didn't make it under. Ah! I still did. That was pretty sick. That was style. That was fully intentional. That was crap. I hit the wall. Right, spin time. Tumble dryer. Let's go there. Smash. Right, over the jump. Get that. We'll try and drift through here. Oh, we're stale now. Nah, no, that's not fair. Okay, second place. I'll take that. 184,000 points. Right, let's continue. Go on to the second event. These gym corners are based on based on points. So the more points you get, um, so like classic dirt two, 
Um, so I think Rally and Trailblazer are the only ones that are time-based, and then these are all point um, based off of like 10, 8, 6 positions. Oh, this is a slightly different layout. Oh, interesting. All right, let's go straight into a spin then. Oh, we didn't quite max it out. Oh dear. Alright, let's go smash into these. Smash into these. Oh, drifted. Nice. Oh, no, we messed up the donut there. Right, let's try this donut. Right, let's go to spin. Spin dry time. And let's bring it out. Over the jump. Oh, no. That didn't go well. Perfect. Right, smash. Let's go around the donut. Perfect. Can we get another donut in? Brilliant. 393,000 points. Right, continue. Did we get first? I think that was first, yes. I kind of skipped that screen, so uh, I wouldn't know. Oh, nice. Good amount of um, uh, reputation there. Oh, we got the finals unlocked as well. Oh, it's Trailblazer. Big names and big TV coverage. Exactly what a driver on the rise is looking for. Nice. I like Trailblazer. Trailblazer's fun because of the speed. Uh, so we got a three-stage rally again. We can either take 80s, 70s, or 60s. Um, I think we'll go back with 80s for Red Mango again. Right, stage one, beta time of 216 for 750 rep. Let's go. Oh, we're starting first as well. I always love it starting in first place. Let's go. Oh, look at that. That's a ski jump there. Oh, I wish we could drive on the ski jump. That'd be awesome. Go slow down. Come on. Perfect. Right, first split done. We won't actually get a comparison of time until we um, are like behind or at the end of the event. Nice. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Very close there. Nearly lost control of the car twice then in the space of five seconds. Right, square right here. Need to try and stay away from the off-road section. Because the car sticks to that. Very nice there. I am liking these tracks. I feel like now I'm properly playing through Dirt 3 that I actually enjoyed this more than Dirt 2. Genuinely enjoying this more than Dirt 2. Ah, ah, careful. Yes. Perfect. 
taking it around this corner. And across the line. Ta-da! First event done. 2 minutes 8.547. Right, let's go on to the next race. Right, we are on to stage number 2. We got a beat of time of 231 for 750 rep. Oh, there's a BMW in this game. I did not know that. Uh, I want to drive the BMW now. I don't know if that's a DLC car. If it is, I'm buying it. Huh? Did the car just go off the line before the countdown finished? I will have to check that out on the footage later. Oh, we've gone overshot it. Oh, 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 there we go, nice. 33.9, perfect. Need to stay away from the edges of the road. They are like danger traps. See? Touch it and you lose control totally. I don't think we'll get first place. We might get second for this. Another car, though, went over that corner there. Oh. There we go. That was awful. Come on, shift down a gear. You can hear the turbo whistle. If you listen very closely, it sounds like a hoover. Oh my gosh. I don't think we're getting a good time for this stage, that's for sure. Gosh, what is this? That is a huge elevation change there. Corner cut and a half there. Across the line. Oh. Second place, yeah, I was expecting that. Two seconds slower though. Wasn't wasn't expecting to be that far off. Pro invitational. Those glasses are snazzy. I wanna be able to like buy a pair of those and just like every time I play Dirt 3 I have to wear them while I'm recording. That'd be sick. Right, on to the uh, next stage. We have to finish at 87 miles an hour or faster, which is very fast. Right, let's go. And off we go. I think it did start our run a little bit early last time. Catching up. Right, let's see how we're looking at this split over here. Five seconds faster. That is very good. Oh, very close to the inside there. And we spun out on the jump. Not good. Not good. I think we lost a lot of time there. Huge amount of time, jeez. Ok, 
Okay, we are behind by point four. We could regain that. Very nice, very nice. Come on, speed. I think we beat the speed target though at the finish line. Still only second though. A podium finish. What could oh, be that's yeah, the first really event that we've not come first right? in. We will have to come back to that then. Try that one again at, in the future at some point. 800 rep, 2250 and 750 rep. It's a very nice paycheck. Right, on to the next event, which is speedrun one. Welcome to the first speed run. Precision and speed is the key to this challenge. You need to hit all the gates and sequence as fast as you can. Keep it cool, but don't forget to keep your eye on the clock. Interesting. So we're in a Lancer Evo X. Evo 10, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully this goes well. Okay, Auto mechanic. smooth and steady, just like the last race. It looks so much like Battersea from the last game, though. Like, they've done a good job. They did a good job. I shouldn't really say done a good job, because the game's already out. Okay, we've got 35 seconds. Come on, come on. Oh no! Oh, we were so close! So close yet so far. Oh, and we can't even do that. Oh, that was... Okay, let's retry. That was so close though. I thought I was being cheeky trying to go underneath, but it doesn't count. Right, let's do this. So we need to slow down much earlier for that jump there. Here we go. Speed, speed. Slowing down for this one. Tap of the handbrake. Perfect. Again, though, this isn't dirt, is it? This is all on road. Come on. Oh, we were so close to platinum. 0.5 seconds off. That gold medal looks good on you, superstar. Amazing gold medal there. That was a very good time. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me. And if you want to join our Discord, where we're going to be discussing a lot about the upcoming Dirt 5 release, then make sure to click that link down in the description down below. And there's a load of other social links there as well. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.